everyone. Welcome to Snoozer Storytime Adventures. And how are we doing today, Snoozer? I am adventurous. You're adventurous? Yes. That means I want to imagine and go on adventures and, and, um, I forget. Oh, well, I have a great book in mind that talks about going on all kinds of fun adventures with a person that you might love. Your dad. Oh, wow. That looks like a fun book. Yes, it is called Dad the Man, the Myth, the Legend, and it is written by Miss One Low. I wonder what it is about. I know, I'm kind of interested myself. All right, well, here's a whole bunch of interesting pictures and it says, Dads are most ordinary men turned by love into heroes, adventurers, storytellers, and singers of song. Okay, some say he's a myth. Others call him a legend. Mom says he's a legend in his own mind. Whatever that means. He's the one, the only... Dad! Stronger than Sasquatch, more powerful than Thor. And when you're a kid like me, a dad like that can come in pretty handy. Take last week. I was being squeezed by a huge python who hissed and spit in my face. I gaggled. I gurgled. I thought I was a goner. What does a goner mean? That <laughs> means he thinks that he might not live. Oh, yes. Oh! Ah! That's when Dad swung in and wrestled the beast to the ground in exactly three seconds. So here he is, being squeezed by a python, but let's look at the next page and see what really is happening. The python was completely finito! And look, they're just on an adventure. Have you ever had fun with maybe even just an adult person in your life? A big brother or someone that you know that is a man? Yes! I like to play with checkers! That looks like a hose! Yes, so they are using the hose to pretend it's a python. Oh no! They broke it! <laughs> they certainly did, and look at this mom. She doesn't look very happy. Dad beat his chest. Me, Tarzan! He bellowed. Now, Tarzan, drive by hardware store, Mom said, because in all their play, they kind of broke the hose, pretending it was a snake. Kind of reminds me of something you might do, Snoozer, because you're always coming up with fun adventures in your head. Yeah, but I would use my trunk as the hose. <laughs> That's right. We'd have a lot of fun with that. Drive? Uh, uh, see, Dad can fly. You think his dad can really fly? He just has to work on his landings, Mom said. But even she admits those are pretty spectacular. So Dad was flying using a little trampoline. He broke that too! <laughs> he certainly did. Sometimes having adventures can kind of cause a little bit of a mess. And that's not to say Dad doesn't drive. He says racing fuel runs in his veins. So he likes to drive fast. But mom says minivans are not race cars, and for some reason, police always agree. Whoa! Is he getting a ticket? Just like he is, because he's driving too fast. Still, Dad really is a great detective. When my sister Annie's dolly went missing, she went bonkers. Where is she? She sobbed. I can't live without her. Look like Dad is using his magnifying glass to search for some clues. Elementary, Dad said. And just like that, there was Dolly. Amazing, right? I bet it's because Dad is a 100% certified genius. I mean, he can even do long division. Wowee! Yeah, he thinks his dad is pretty smart. Read books with his eyes closed. 
And once he blasted us off into space, we went so high and so fast, he said, we went where no kids have gone before. Mom said, if he pushes the swings that hard again, she'll send him where no one has gone before. How do you think they go up in space, Snoozer? With a rocket ship? <laughs> no, I think when Dad pushes them on the swings, he said they're going off into space, so they make believe. Oh, they were using their imagination. They certainly were. Sure, Dad drives Mom crazy sometimes, but she says it just makes her crazy about him. All I know is I've seen enough kisses to last me a lifetime, and I'm only ten. <laughs> Fortunately, Dad knows how to show he loves me in other ways. Like when I got the terrible, horrible haircut and swore I wouldn't leave the house for a month. Dad got one too. I bet everyone starts getting the Franken cut, he said. Wasn't that nice? When he got a bad haircut, Dad got one just like him to make him feel better. That was nice. And when my volcano set off the sprinkler system at the science fair, I thought they'd lock me up for a million years, but Dad just grinned. Now that's a volcano. Wow, it looks like his volcano experiment really kind of set off the sprinklers. They thought there was a fire in the school. <laughs> the teachers were all wet. <laughs> they certainly are. And when my team lost a game, a zillion to one, Dad knew just how to make things right. Looks like they went out for ice cream. That's always a fun treat. It must be exhausting to be so amazing, but somehow he never gets tired. Even when I pin him and beat him or ask him to make my all-time favorite dinner, spaghetti with M&M's, chocolate sauce, and potato chips. Oh, I've never tried that combo before. <laughs> that sounds pretty interesting. After baths and brush teeth, if I ask to snuggle in bed with him, Dad always says yes. It's then, just before I fall asleep, that I hear him say my favorite thing of all. Sleep tight, kiddo, and remember, to dream big, because you can do anything. That's a pretty nice message to give someone every night before they go to bed. With a dad like mine, maybe I really can. But you know what? I'd like to be most of all. Just like him. on the wall in the back are from the story. That's right. There's Dad flying and being a detective and being very smart. Oh my gosh, yes. There are all kinds of fun adventures that he has. And it's fun to use your imagination. Yes. So it's nice to have someone like that in your life that always supports you and tells you to dream big because whatever you put your mind to, you can accomplish, especially if you have someone that believes in you. Mrs. Hamilton, do you believe in me? I believe so wholeheartedly in you, Snoozer, and whatever you think you can do, I know you can do it. Reach for the stars! All right, so why don't we, since we're talking about stars and reaching for them, why don't we sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Because that's just a great song to sing. Okay. You know that one? Yep. I think we all do. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Wipe way, woohoo! Yeah, well, I thought to tie it all together that we could make a star craft today. Ah, but not just a star craft. I want you to think in your head about three things that you really think and want to do. When? 
in your lifetime, something that Snoozer really wants to do that you might not think you can, but if you put your mind to it, I bet you you can do it. Okay. All right, so keep those three things in mind, and let's get working on our craft. So this is what we need today to make our star, our star of dreams. All right, so I'm going to get cutting that out, and you start thinking what you want to achieve in your life, series, or what do you really want to do? So, these are going to be our dreams, our shining rays. So, let's get a smile. Better get my glue. All right. Eyes, nose, and what do you think? Should we add a mouth? Yeah, I want it to be a happy star. Of course, it should be a happy star because these are all things that we, or you, want to become or be. All right, or achieve. So I'm gonna, well, I'll make the smile. Oh boy, let's see. Here we go. Let's see. How does that look? That is good. All right, I'm gonna flip it over so I can add my dreams. One dream. Two dreams. And three dreams. Flip it over. Straighten them out. Have you thought of some things that you'd like to, to accomplish in your life, Snoozer? Yeah, I have some good ideas. All right. Well, I believe you can achieve them. So why don't you tell me them and I'll write them down. Okay, dream number one. I want to write my own book. All right, that sounds like a great dream. Write my own book. And we've read a lot of great books. The more you read, the more you know and come up with all different kinds of ideas of what you can create. Oh, I already have a loot of ideas. I bet you you do. Dream number two. I want to become a great gymnast. All right. Do you know what a gymnast is? I do know what a gymnast is, right? Is it someone that does gymnastics? Yes. I met someone who does gymnastics. And now I want to swing on a bar, and I want to balance on a balance beam. All right. Now, now that you distracted me, now I got to remember what you wrote. Become a what? A great gymnast. Become a gymnast, that's it. Oh, gosh. All right. I'd like to see that happen, Snoozer. Okay. Number one, write my own book. Number two, become a gymnast. And number three. I want to become a drummer. Drummer. All right. I have a drum set. Do you? Yeah, but I don't remember how to play. Well, sometimes when you want to do something like that, you got to learn from someone. And some people just teach themselves. They watch videos and they can accomplish great things just by watching and experimenting. All right, so let's see here. I'll read all three of your dreams. Write my own book, number one. Become a gymnast. I think you said great gymnast, so I'll write the word great. And third dream, become a drummer. Yep, that is all three. And I have more ideas too. Well, you can always add, add to this list. So you can just hang it up somewhere to remind yourself of all the things that you want to accomplish. And sometimes you have dreams and they might change to something else. So you could always take one off and add something new. 
but it's nice to have someone that believes in you. Like, I believe in you, Snoozer. I believe in all our friends out there. And you might have someone special in your life. It doesn't have to be a dad. It could be a big brother or, or a big sister or an aunt or an uncle or just someone special in your life that you can have adventures with. And most importantly, someone that believes in you. Oh, Coolio! All right, so I think I'm going to hang this up so you can see it. And I've had a wonderful time reaching for the stars with you, Snoozer. I had a great day, and I look forward to seeing you and all our friends next time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can. Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft.